Sakai, we need to talk. When I was your age, people said I was the next Tadayori Nagao. You're the best archer we've ever had. Yeah, not even close. But I'm damn good. And I'm grateful for everything you taught me. I was so dedicated to my study. I never made time for a family. Tomoe was to be my heir. Her crimes. I could not forgive her. No samurai would. I devoted my life to the bow. The life it gave me was remarkable. But the life it took from me. Family is more important. Sensei. Don't become like me. Don't let the ghost consume you. Hey. Tomoe is somewhere in Kamiyagata. A last-ditch effort to rally the Mongols and restore her reputation. If she's here, we will find her. And end this. Yes, we will. I'm happy to offer my services. An excellent choice. Just for you. An excellent choice. Goodbye. I'll make an offering. For your good fortune. <laughs>
What's that over there? Mongol convoy. Wiped out. By who? Burn the cart. Flaming arrows? All shot in the back. Probably ambushed. Japanese arrows. Lord Shimura's men? Japanese archers did this. Likely a group. Unless Sensei Ishikawa has been here. <gasps> Please, excuse me, my lord. It's a bad idea to sneak up on me. I thought you were with the man who killed these Mongols. He was samurai, but older. An archer? Sensei Ishikawa. Where is he? He said... He come back to my house in a day or two. Why your house? I have food, a fire. Whatever his business was, it seemed urgent. It's possible he picked up Tomoe's trail. Where's your house? Not far, but there's a storm coming and I need to check my snares first. Then I can take you there. Fine, I'll go with you. What's your name? Matsu, my lord. What exactly did Sensei Ishikawa tell you? Nothing more, my lord. He wasn't the friendliest man. Sounds about right. I never talked to a real samurai. War brings unlikely people together. It's my chance to ask a really good question. Don't mess it up. <laughs> What's it like to hold the power of life and death in your hands? It's a heavy responsibility. But you secretly enjoy it. Only a monster would enjoy it. That's not the answer I expected. There! One of my snares. Check it quickly. I don't want to miss Ishikawa. Damn. Empty. Have to reset it! You might have more luck hunting. Oh, I could never do that. So awful. Maybe try a different bait. My bait never changes. What do you use? The illusion of opportunity. There's your problem. That only works on men. <laughs> this way, my lord. It's not easy surviving up here. It's hard everywhere. I fled north when the Mongols came. Alone? My parents died when I was a girl. Been on my own ever since. Your family must be very important. My uncle is Lord Shimura. Wait! You're the one people talk about. The ghost. <sighs> but you're not ten feet tall with eyes like a demon. 
No. But the stories frighten the enemy. So that's it? It's just rumors and exaggeration? <sighs> to fight them, I've had to do things I would have frowned on before. We all have. Wait here. Uh, they're starving. Hey! Please don't hurt us, my lord! That's not yours. We are sorry. It's just a squirrel. We have eaten grass and tree bark for days. Take it and go. Thank you, my lord. You let them escape. We thought dinner. They were starving. And no threat. Doesn't sound like the ghost I've heard about. Not all the stories about me are true. The blizzard is almost on us. How many more traps do you have? Just one. But it's farther away. No one will believe I talked to you. What's it like to be the ghost? The stories are stories. Without allies and friends, I'd be dead. You're just saying that. I owe my life to many others, from the lady of Clan Adachi to a thief. People may not tell their stories, but I would not be here without them. We should get back soon. I don't want to miss Sensei Ishikawa. The last trap is just a little farther, my lord. Hope we don't go hungry. Look at this! Dinner! You got something? We might eat like civilized people after all. What's up there? The mainland. No Mongols, no war. Somewhere I can start over. Say you make it to the mainland. What then? In Kyoto, I'll open a fancy inn, learn to play the shamisen, welcome the undying parade of beautiful men and women, while my servants rob them blind. Sounds like Kyoto's in trouble. It's snowing harder. We should go. Maybe your sensei will be waiting for us. <laughs> Is getting worse. Stay close. If I get any closer, we'll have to share a horse. What was that? Never mind. Keep going. I'll deal with him. Stay back. Where's your house? Not far. Come on.
Here. Here we are. Let's get inside. You seem too kind to be the ghost. But the way you killed those Mongols... I do what I have to for Tsushima. The truth is, we're both survivors. We have darkness in us. If we didn't, we'd be dead. Sensei Shikawa said something similar. But it sounds more natural coming from you, Tomoe. Ishikawa always said I underestimate my opponents. I don't have an arrow in my back. Why not? The Mongols turned against me. After you trained them to slaughter our people. A mistake I tried to fix. But I can't kill all my archers. Not our own. You need me, and the Sensei, but we don't need you. I know where they'll attack next. We can ambush them together. You get a victory, I get revenge. I'll talk it over with Sensei Shikawa. Jing, you can stay the night. No, Tomoe, I can't. to have some extra hands around. Sakai! Sakai! You have news? Something like that. I spoke with Tomoe. She's hiding in the north. The Mongols turned against her. If you saw her, why is she still alive? Her archers are preparing a massive attack. She wants the three of us to wipe them out. Or she needs both our heads to get back in the Mongols' favor. She could have killed me, Sensei, but she didn't. Hmm. 
I have never been rewarded for trusting Tomoe. I don't trust her. But we need what she knows. And I believe she needs our help. Then she's a fool. And we finish this. 